guys, I hope you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening and watching and subscribing. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been sending my way. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about something that's really, really important, especially for an INFJ to understand, but a lot for a lot of people on this planet right now where we have this sense of unworthiness or the sense where we feel like we shouldn't be allowed to exist, um, especially considering all the damage that we're, you know, all the damage that we're kind of causing to the environment, to all the other species and to the oceans. A lot of us are feeling the sense where that, you know, human beings are the worst and we should not be allowed to live and it would be better if we weren't here. Right? And I really, really want to share this beautiful phrase that was shared with by Elizabeth Gilbert um, and it's from the poet White uh, W-H-I-H-Y-T-E so David White and he has this fantastic name he said for for this for uh, a solution to this and he calls it the arrogance of belonging and White claims that without the arrogance of belonging you'll never be able to take any creative risks whatever without it you will never push yourself out of the suffocating insulation of personal safety and into the frontiers of the beautiful and unexpected. I really, really like that phrase, the arrogance of belonging, because this is something that I've been really, really thinking about for myself. For the longest time, I, I had this, this hard, I had a hard time believing that my existence was important. I used to imagine that there's no real reason why I should be alive. Why am I, why do I even exist? Am I doing anything useful with this life that I've been given? Is there any purpose to my life? Is, is there any gains to be had for the world, for me being alive? And all of those answers were like, no, yeah, there's no real reason I should be here. And so for the longest time as an INFJ, as a human being, I had a hard time believing in the importance of my existence. And that meant that, um, not that I was suicidal, um, but that meant that I was unable to really feel grounded. I was unable to feel the importance of my existence. I was not able to feel that I should exist at all. And that, mean, that meant that I didn't really do anything because I was like, well, there's no point of me being here anyways. I couldn't grab hold of my creativity. I couldn't grab hold of my life because I was like, well, why am I here? I'm not, I'm not useful. And I always felt like I was, I was waiting. I was in limbo waiting for death because there was no point of my life, right? Now, this all sounds very, very tragic, but it wasn't really because I think I needed to go through that phase in order to get to where I am right now. But I really, really liked how David White put it, the arrogance of belonging. I love that because it means that, it basically says to me that you don't need to do anything. You don't need to create anything. You don't need to... Uh, be really rich or famous or you don't need to be a really 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 smart person or a really dumb person whatever it might be you don't need to do anything be anything have anything in order to belong and in order to exist existence isn't about achieving something existence isn't so that you achieve something isn't you don't need to achieve something in order to exist you just exist and that's fine because as i've said this before the universe and this world has worked very hard, extremely hard, to get you to be, to exist for your existence. It has worked really, 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 really hard for you to exist at this point in time. Do you know how many of your ancestors had to be alive and reproduce? But not only that, for your ancestors not to die from all the different predators out there, all the different diseases that can take over a human being, all the different situations. They had to stay alive. Hundreds of thousands of people had to stay alive enough, long enough to reproduce and then for them to take care of their of their children enough so that they, they stayed alive as well for you to exist on this planet right now. Hundreds of thousands of people. Not only that, hundreds of thousands of circumstances had to happen in the perfect format for Earth to exist, for life to exist on Earth, for consciousness to develop on Earth, for our you know, for human beings to evolve. Um, for the fact that, you know, your existence happened, you know, your parents met, you know, there's a lot of things that could have happened that your parents could not have met, they could not have married, they could not have had kids. Um, so there's a billion, trillion, billion circumstances that had to happen 
in order for you, you right now sitting here watching this video, for you to be sitting here right now watching this video, for you to exist. Billions of circumstances, hundreds of millions. Like, I mean, incomprehensible how many things had to happen in order for you and for I to be sitting here, for me to be doing this video and for you to be watching them, right? And so can you imagine how important it is that you are here? Why would the universe, which does nothing randomly and which doesn't do anything without a purpose, have done this? Why would evolution have worked so hard? Why would your ancestors have worked so hard? Why would the universe in general or fate or destiny or whatever you want to call it have worked so hard to make sure that you are here right now? Why? For some random reason? Or, or because you don't really matter? No, because you do matter and because every single being that exists, every single consciousness that exists, everything that exists, exists for a very important reason everything every rock every piece of every pebble every every grain of sand you know every every being every 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 atmosphere all the atmosphere all the air um every molecule everything exists for a particular reason right and so this is the arrogance of belonging i don't need to do anything in order to be here i don't need to prove myself to the world to be worthy of my existence i don't need to be rich or famous i don't need to be here i don't need to do that i don't need to create i don't need to blah 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 anything i mean you don't need to do anything in order to be all right with your existence in order to be worthy of your existence now this worthiness this feeling that we are worthy to be alive or worthy of our existence is something that a lot of people on this planet deal with right now there's a lot of reasons for it the disconnection from nature the fact that our environment's being ruined the fact that there's so many of us on this planet right now the fact that there's more and more pressure to live the life that someone else has created for you rather than your own. There's a hundred thousand reasons why a lot of people feel this unworthiness, right? But David White says, you know, you don't need to. It's just the fact, just the fact that you are alive, just the fact that you are conscious right now, just the fact that you are here right now watching this video or doing whatever you're doing means that you're worthy of your existence because the universe worked really, really hard to make sure that you are here and if the universe which does not again as i said does not do anything without any purpose there's nothing ran nothing random out there there are no coincidences everything is happening for a reason everything has a purpose so if the universe works so hard to get you here there is a reason for it you don't need to worry about that reason you don't need to think about it you don't need to make anything happen everything will happen as it happens but you don't need to be concerned about your existence you don't need to think that you're not worthy of your existence this is really important for an INFJ specifically. I'm an INFJ, so I know how much of this angst I dealt with as a child, where you know I used to worry about it all the time that you know the universe placed me here and I'm wasting this opportunity that the universe has given me, and I felt like you know it worked so hard to get me here, and and why and why is it why am I worthy and I'm not worthy and I can't believe that the universe would put me here and what was the point of it and why am I even here? So all of those questions went through my head all the time. And I, I wasted a lot of my time asking these questions rather than just being and just being like, I'm here. Okay, cool. I'm here. It's done with, over with. <laughs> I'm already here. Why not take advantage of it? Why not just live and be conscious and awakened and, and enjoy this life that has been given to you, right? So this is really something that really resonated with me, this, this phrase, the arrogance of belonging. Just arrogant you know arrogantly belonging putting your shoulders back your head high and you think yeah i'm here cool i'm awesome and i'm here i'm conscious i don't know how long i'm here for it might be a few days a few years a few months but i'm here right now and let's see let's do what we need to do with the time that we have right now because we will be gone soon right but we don't need to worry about why we're here um, because universe worked very hard to bring us here right and so i really wanted to share this with you guys because it was so powerful to me every single time i start feeling that feeling of unworthiness i always think of this phrase the arrogance of belonging i i belong i i'm arrogantly belonging to this world i don't need to prove myself to anything or to anyone i'm here and that's it i'm here <laughs> all right i hope this makes sense to you guys if you guys have any questions at all please let me know if you guys have any any questions about this or anything else message me anytime all my contact information is in the description below and i shall see you guys in the next video bye for now